Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic Summer Transfer Talk video. Um, it's about transfer gossip today. Um, according to a journalist today, um, Celtic are in talks to bring in another free agent this summer. So we've had a lot of talk with free agents and all that stuff. And according to a rebuild, you, you know, every rebuild, you know, you might have some, you know, free agents and stuff. Um, the two signs we already brought in also Liam Shaw and Ozazi or or the Giri. Um, they cost like three under cage. So. You know what I mean? And then obviously tomorrow on the is Tuesday, so tomorrow Celtic's first pre season game. Um and first game for Ange Post Call or did the previews with Lewis the other day, so make sure to check that out guys, um once I finish this video. But yeah, make sure to scream like, make sure support's been great in the channel. Let's go. The journalist revealed the hoops are in talks to with former West Brom winger Kyle Edwards after his contract expired at the Hawthorns. Edward Edwards, 23, is without a club this moment in time and weighing up his next move in, in the game. Uh, the player um, can both um, can both play on the left and right wing, but plays uh, predominantly on the left-hand side. The player uh, can play, obviously, both on the left and blah, blah, blah. Uh, Celtic are on the lookout for a new left-sided player after Moya Lunacy left the club after a two-year loan stint. The club's only real option down the left wing now is Mikey Johnson and while the winger can be a good option, Keeping Mikey fit uh, has always been a major issue, especially uh, since he signed that five-year deal. Um, it's like a five-year deal he was really happy with, and then next thing, um, next thing you you know he got injured and um, you know moved out. You know, um, the journalist put in a tweet. It was um, this morning uh, or afternoon, should I say now? Uh, the journalist is called Pete or. or He's he's from a he's a high he's a high um he's a high um what you got a high journalist um I checked out before I recorded it just in case you know uh, and he tweeted out uh, this afternoon saying Celtic Iron talks to sign former West Brom winger Kyle Edwards following his departure from the Hawthorns so it is going to be interesting Celtic Iron needs some positive reinforcements as soon as possible. Edwards has been at West Brom since moving from Exeter City and back in twenty eighteen the player has been in and out of the starting eleven uh, the club. We need to find the very best players to available to him. Right now, we're hearing a lot of rumours and reports surrounding free agents, and we've brought two players in from Sheffield Wednesday's free agents. So, I know I said three hundred k. That's where how how we brought them in by it's like some kind of weird. I can't, I've said it the other day, guys, when they signed that stuff that weird kind of fee or something. Um, while these players might come good, we need we need we need um, first team ready, experienced players to come in. Because obviously these are youth players, players, and obviously it's good that you know Ange Postecoglou wants to invest in youth players and all that time. But they might not be ready for first team. I mean, as Azzy or Giddy, it's hardly played in the first team at Sheffield Wednesday. So is Liam, Liam Shaw in and out, I think. Um, so I don't think they're, but they're going to have a chance, of course, in the pre seasons to show what they can do. Because um, obviously, as I said, there Ange Postecoglou loves, he loves to bring up the youth players and development of great players. So, if this does go through with Kyle Edwards, um, you're talking you could predominantly play on the left hand side. That's a good one. I really like that because you're talking obviously Moya and you says your loan spell's done. Um, Celtic are not going to get him again um, unless they want to pay some like eight million or something like that. And to be honest, on his day, on his day, I mean, you say yeah, but no because on the other hand you can say no because. If you, it's a gamble because they say eight million. Everyone's just not going to reform every every week. Um, brilliant, you know what I mean. So it is a gamble. Um, so yeah, Kyle Edwards on the left hand side. I think he's a free agent. Again, West Brom. If I did say it was in and out of the team, as an as a gamble again. Um, you know he starts he starts are okay. Um, so. You know, um, he has also a free agent now, but um, he's twenty three, um, which is a good uh, it's a good age for a footballer. Um, left hand side, if we bring him, I wouldn't be disappointed. But uh, we need to see how he plays. You know, what I mean, if uh, if Andrew Bosch calls, sees that he's a good player, yeah, fair play. But you know, West Brom, that, you know, as I said, he was in the team last season. Didn't, I don't. I didn't. I also watched Premier League, football, Premier League football, but I didn't see him in the team uh, when West Brom were playing. So, it's yeah, um, it's it's an interesting one. 
Um, if we look at his stats, yeah, that's why I never seen him play because he only played five games for um, West Brom. No, I was just under twenty three actually. Yeah, even even last season, he only played five matches for the West Brom team. Yep. <laughs> Uh, his career stats, if you want that, um, obviously he used to play for Exeter City. Um, left midfield, definitely position. I, I, Celtic, that was a key one. Left left mid, left wing. It's a key one. He seems a decent player. Um, he's, yeah. He's, yeah. Um, so, it's going to be interesting. If he does come in, um, obviously you've got to give a player time to see how he plays on the left-hand side. Will it be good getting the ball into the box? Is that what we're kind of missing? I see last season natural wingers because obviously Forrest last season was injured. Um, Mikey Johnson was injured last season. So we hired Riley on our left backs. We were playing a formation where Greg Taylor and Jeremy Frimpong, when he was at the club, were the wingers and defenders. That's not what we want to play. Because, first of all, Greg Taylor, he is a great defender. And obviously sometimes lacks out as well, left hand side. But you're playing a baby, Laxalt is not a left back at all. So, Laxalt is a left mid or a predominant a left winger. If we're trying to play him at left back, it's not, it wasn't working out, of course, you've seen that. Greg Taylor, he's a, he's a good defender, decent defender. Might not, still not be Celtic level, but he's a decent defender. Uh, when he gets forward, the only thing again that worries me is he can't really cross the balls into the box. When he gets there, the left hand side near the end, near the edge of the, the, the box. He doesn't want to cross it in, which worries me because, you know, when, when you don't want a, a left winger, he always wants to cross it in the box or cut it back and pass it into the box or something, you know what I mean? Greg Taylor doesn't want to do that. He always wants to cut back and go back the way, which was that we've seen, you've seen a lot, a lot last season. So he's seen his front pong. And when they were up top, you have nobody to bat except for your centre backs. And your centre backs might be up there for a corner. And say your left back, and, so Greg Taylor and front pong were up there, just near there. It's, it's worrying. I was worrying last season. Obviously, that's how you lost the league last season as well. Not just that point, but Celtic need to be a formation where obviously we'll see that tomorrow against Wednesday. Say for Wednesday, see where how Ange Postco will line up. Will we start with wingers, natural wingers? So it'll be interesting to see how we play tomorrow. Um, and it's going to be interesting if we sign Kyle Edwards uh, on a free agent. It'll be interesting. Um, I, as I said, I've, he's only played five matches for West Brom last season. I haven't seen him play. Um, I don't, I don't know. It is a gamble again, but we'll have to see if he signs and if he's a good player. But yeah, guys, it's just a wee um, video I thought I would bring you today because um, I was going to do another video today, but I thought, well, let's bring some Celtic tra tra summer transfer talk into it. Uh, and Celtic are apparent, uh, apparently in talks with free agent Kyle Edwards after his contract expired at West Brom, according to a journalist. So yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it on that. Please subscribe, like. It's been recent support. It's been great in the channel. Keep you well, guys great and i'll see you guys for a video very shortly and also guys before we go the training gear i, I know uh, training gear has been quality um but the third kit now and i'll talk about that very soon when the so when we rate kits uh, like the home kits all the spfl home kits away kits and the third kits if, if teams have third kits i'll talk about that very soon <laughs> see you next time guys peace